this time, we'll ask for the equation of the line. Right? So if you're given a plane equation and a point outside the plane, how do you find the equation of the line that's perpendicular to it passing through at this point? All right, so let's write, let's start out by writing the equation of the line. Oh, I, I should have noted something like uh, find the answer in both uh, parametric and symmetric, or, or maybe just one of them. But you have to know how to find both, okay? So we'll, we'll try to find both of them. So first, in parametric form, it's AT plus X naught, BT plus Y naught, CT plus Z naught, and uh, if you differentiate this as a comma b comma c, we know that it's, that's the direction of this line or the velocity of the moving particle. Same thing. Right? If you set t equal to zero, it, you get x naught y naught z naught, which means that's the initial point where the tra uh, trajectory begins, or it's just the point of the line. So it's good to have both the physical interpretation of this formula along with the geometric meaning because uh, it helps to remember exact formula that way, okay? So that's the formula for the line. Now, uh, therefore we can say to get a line equation you need the vector a comma b comma c and you also need x naught y naught z naught. Okay? Now what can we take for x naught y naught z naught? This, this one, right? So we're given the point, so that's good. No, that's good. Okay, and then what can we take for a comma b comma c? Yeah, what makes you think that? You're saying 3, negative 7, 2 should be the normal, uh, the two, two, should be the A, A, B, C. What, what's the reasoning for taking that? Yeah, okay, so somebody else reasoned. Yes? Um, because A, B, C is a normal vector. Because if you derive it, you get Okay, if you differentiate it, you get a comma b comma c. So that's the direction. What does the question say? What's the relationship between the line and the plane? Perpendicular. perpendicular. So this direction must be perpendicular to this plane, right? What's the normal vector here? What's the normal vector? Three negative seven two. That's the normal vector, right? Uh, what about this a? Well, that's just some number so that it doesn't pass through the origin. So l let me explain what I, what I mean by that. You can subtract a to the other side and then just make this contained in any of uh, x or y or z as parentheses. So if I just put it with, along with x, I can rewrite it as 3 times x minus 8 over 3 minus 7y plus 2z equals 0. Okay? These two are the same thing, right? If you multiply 3 out, 8 over 3 times 3, 3 threes cancel and you just get negative 8. It's the same thing, right? Now viewed it this way, this tells us the following. It, it, it means that it means that what we have in front of us is a plane that's perpendicular to the vector 3 comma negative 7 comma 2 and it passes through the point negative 8 over 3 comma 0 comma 0. That's what it means. Does that make sense? Okay. Of course, this is not the only way to turn it into this form. You, uh, you could also just uh, divide out the 2 and write this as 2 times z minus 4. In that case, uh, it's a plane that passes through 0 comma 0 comma 4. That's, an, that's another way to say it. But uh, whichever you change, whichever way you, you transform this equation, you still see that it's always perpendicular to what vector? 3 comma negative 7 comma 2. Right? Therefore, 3 comma negative 7 comma 2 should be same as the direction of this line because the line is perpendicular. Right? So we can take a comma b comma c as 3 comma negative 7 comma 2. Okay. Here's the picture. We know that 3 comma 7 comma negative 7 comma 2 is perpendicular to this plane, right? 
And we know that the line is another one that's perpendicular. What can we say? The two directions should be parallel to each other, right? So we can take this as the direction, direction of the line that we, we want to find. That's basically the, the thing that we're trying to do. So we have that, and then x naught, y naught, z naught could be 2, 1, negative 1. Therefore, your, your answer can be written as, answer is um, x equal to 3t plus <coughs> 2, y equals to negative 7t plus 1, z equals to 2t minus 1, all that. And then, if you want to change this into symmetric form, how do you change the, this into symmetric form? Solve for t. Solve for t, right? So if you solve this for t, it's uh, you have to subtract two both sides <coughs> and dividing by three. That's equal to t, right? And uh, if you if you subtract one divide by negative seven, seven, that's also equal to t. So adding 1 and dividing by 2, all of these are equal to t, and you don't have to write t there. It doesn't hurt. I mean, you can write it there if you want to. This, this is what we call the symmetry. So there, there are two ways to answer this. If the, the question says, find it in parametric form, this is the one that you have to write. If the question says, find it in symmetric form, yeah, this is the one that you have to write. 